Hi, this is Nick from LiveCloud at Canela Software. I'm going to show you how to get started with LiveCloud using the application template provided on our site. If you haven't already, head over to our site and download the LiveCloud Manager. You'll also want to grab the source code for the application template stack, both of which can be found on our downloads page. The next thing you're going to want to do is launch the LiveCloud Manager. When you see this screen, you'll either need to sign up or log in. Now it's time to create our first database. I'm going to call mine DemoDB. You can call yours whatever you like. In order for this sample application stack to work properly, it assumes a certain schema. You can get these keys, which you'll fill in here, by launching the application sample stack that you downloaded from our site. Once you do that, simply click on Export Schema. We then copy those keys into your clipboard. If you move back to the LCM and click Import, it will show you the list of keys, item name, item location, and item quantity. Click Yes to continue. You now have the schema for our application template inside your LCM tied to your new database. Next, we'll click OK and go on to the next step of the export process. You're going to want to export the SDK for LiveCloud directly into the same directory as you have your sample stack. So let's click Export SDK. And next, we'll choose Application Template Folder. You'll see an alert that says we have successfully exported the SDK. You can go and verify here. You see the Cassia DB folder. That means it worked. Next, you want to copy the starter code by clicking the clip, Copy to Clipboard. After the starter code has been copied to your clipboard, go back to Live Code where you have your application template open. Uh, you're going to want to open up your main stack, uh, the code, and paste that starter script into there. Go ahead and save it. And then you're going to want to quit Live Code, save your changes and reopen the sample stack. There we go. Once your sample stack has been reopened, you should notice inside your project browser that there are a bunch of libraries loaded as well. So there's one more bit of configuration that we need to do in order to start working with the application template code which is we're going to use an API called CDB Set Working Database and we're going to put that in right with our starter code here. Um, you can just drop it in here, do a CDB Set Working Database and we're going to set that to the name of your database. Mine was DemoDB so I'm going to do CDB Set Working Database DemoDB, save that and then we need to re save the stack and reopen it. And now we are ready to go. To get a feel how Live Cloud works using the application template, let's go back over to the LCM, click Done since we're done configuring our database. And now we see our database here, which we can click on View Records. And this will list all of our records um, that are in our database. So let's go ahead and create a record by jumping back over to the application template. Let's say we're going to add a gizmo uh, at location factory number one whoa, with a quantity of 100. Let's go ahead and save that record. And you can see you get a status of saved record and a UUID, which is the unique record ID stored in the database. Um, it also automatically lists the record here. And all the code for this functionality is contained within these buttons, these blue buttons here. So feel free to view the source code on those to see how exactly we're doing it. But if you jump back over to the LCM and you hit the sync button, you'll see that that record we just created uh, is in our LCM. And you can see it here. And we can go ahead and change something in the LCM directly. Save that. And you see we have the item quantity of 101 now. So if we go back to the application template and we double click this, this will populate our record. And I say get record, which calls the CDB sync database. And then it calls uh, a get record. 
uh, you'll see that the item quantity is actually 101. So the LCM is a very powerful tool that allows you to view records and edit records within your database. Uh, and the application template contains all the sample code which you'll use to create your applications. I hope this was helpful. Thanks.